Good evening, everyone. The Michigan Tech women's basketball team is tied with Wayne State as the two best teams in the league. And today they hope to move to 13 and 1 against the second best team in the North Division. That's Grand Valley State. Michigan Tech head coach Kim Cameron had a lot to scream about in this first contest. First half for the Lakers. Janae Langs, Meryl Kripe finds Gladstone's J Jamie Botriff for her only hoop of the game. Lakers up 17-16. That lead goes back and forth until Brenna Heisey finds Sarah Lewallen behind the arc. That triple gave Tech a 25-23 lead. Now just before the end of the half, Kelly to Morgan Anderson for another three-pointer. Tech has a three-point cushion at the half, 28-25. Anderson top Tech with 15 points. Now another fast start to the second half. Morgan Anderson, Brenna Heisey for the jumper, 30-25. Then quick passing ends up with Anderson finding Danielle Blake for two of her 12 points, 32-25. Lakers called timeout, but it was too late. Huskies broke open with a 13-4 run in the first four minutes of the second half as they prevail 61-52. The Huskies have a two-game advantage in the GLIAC North Division. To Marquette, where the NMU women's basketball team had a 10-point lead at the half against Ferris State. We'll pick it up in the second. Naya Makla, Abby DeBruin, she thinks about it for a second. Here's the spin move, and she banks one off the glass. 52-39 NMU. But the Bulldogs would not go away easily. They work it inside to Christina Branch, who gets the layup. She had a team high, 20 points. Then her teammate, Destiny Robinson, goes down the lane for two to cut the NMU lead to single digits. However, any sort of Ferris State comeback was countered with another NMU bucket. Lauren Gruber from three-point land. She had 19 points. Alyssa Cola chipped in 21. And NMU wins by 15, 67-52 over Ferris State. Head coach Kevin Luke wasn't happy about trailing 18-10 in the first half against Grand Valley State, but life would get better. Ben Stelzer ahead to you and Trout Creek's Dylan Gordon for three, his only hoop, but that cut the deficit to 18-13. Stelzer now in the corner. He drives and hits the jumper. He pays all scores with 23 points, six assists, and six boards. Now he connects with Luke Heller for the layup. Huskies were down three at the half, 31-28, but they scored 49 points in the second half to win 77-65. Kyle Stankowski had a career high, 18 points. Bill Saul facing his former team, Ferris State and his Wildcats, hoping to play spoiler to the Bulldogs, who are, a, who are perfect in conference play. Trailing by nine in the first half, Terry Nash ahead to Alex Sorensen. He gets the bucket to make it 33-26 Ferris State. Wildcats win toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Bulldogs in the second half as Jordan Perez knocks one down from beyond the arc. 38-36, Ferris State. Then, after a Jared Stolicker miss, Josh Fleming rebounds, sticks the put back, and he's fouled. He had a double-double, 15 points, 11 boards. And amused Jordan Perez played lights out for the Cats. Here's three of his team-high 21 points to give the team the slight lead. Now, they had a 58-57 lead with a minute 35 remaining. However, Ferris State scored the last four points. They're 10-0 in the GLIAC as they win 61-58 over NMU. The Michigan Tech Huskies hockey team earned a very important two points last night against number seven Bowling Green off a third period goal by Tanner Caro. And tonight the Huskies hope to earn the sweep against the ever dangerous Falcons. Second period action. Falcons up one nothing. Teams are four on four. Mark Cooper spots Brandon Hawkins. He goes top shelf glove side. And at 904 Bowling Green has a two nothing lead. The Falcons next rush. Mark Friedman. To Matt Polkamp, blocked, but Friedman centers and Pierre Luc Mercier on the doorstep, and the Falcons are up 3 0 at 924. So that was the end of the day for Tech goalie Jamie Phillips. Enter Matt Winches. The Huskies responded just over three minutes later. Shane Hanna shoots from the blue line, stopped. Malcolm Gould gets the puck over to Blake Pietel, and he buries the goal. Tech trails 3 1 at 12 30. That's his seventh goal of the season. Five minutes later, a scrum in the corner. Blake Pietela gets the puck, and the wrister somehow finds its way through Tommy Burke. 3-2 Bowling Green. Nobody scores in the third, and Bowling Green earns the split as they win today 3-2. Tech hosts Alaska next weekend. NMU finishing off their series against Alabama Huntsville. Off the face-off in the first period, Barrett Kai with a beautiful shot, and we're tied at one. 
Three and a half minutes later, Chargers on the power play. That's Chad Breers puts it past Matias Dahlstrom, and they're back on top two to one. Second period action, Zach Diamantani to Darren Nowick, who taps it in, and we're tied at two. In the third, off the faceoff in the Wildcats zone, Richard Burry scores immediately for the Chargers, and that just about does it. Huntsville earns the sweep against NMU. They win 3-2. to two. In women's hockey, Finlandia hosted St. Norbert College. The Green Knights have four Copper Country players. The middle three are Kenna Ferry, Selena Stromer, and Lexi Paikkanen. The other player is Allie Patrick, number 29. In the first period, she gets tripped by Finlandia Sierra Miners. Now, eventually, SNC had a four on three power play. Lauren Roethlisberger shoots. Reagan Chadwick scores on the rebound to give the, the visitors a 2 0 lead. Now up 3 0. Roethlisberger takes her time, buries a slap shot in the top right corner. St. Norbert cruises to a 10 1 win. South Rangers' Lexi Pikenen scored the Green Knights' ninth goal of the game.